Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. And today we've got six autographs through the mail, TTMs. And before we get started, let's do some baseball card vandals. through the book here make like a tree and leave <laughs> that's a good one right there Forget you saw my brown underwear stains and let it go. Drake. Hey, that kind of does look like Drake. Lint rollers. All right, last one for today. Poor Rick, Rick Sutcliffe. Paper cuts almost cost him his life. <laughs> All right. So our first return is from Shreveport, Louisiana. And we have Warren Morris. He signed two of two in 171 days. He had a career batting average of 267 with 26 home runs, 164 RBIs. He played five years, appeared in 440 games, he played from 99 to 04. He played for the Pirates, Twins, and Tigers. And he had his best season by far, his rookie season, where he batted 288 with 15 home runs and 73 RBIs. So he had a very promising career to start off. Um, and then the next year he played, you know, the next year he got 500 some at bats. And then after that, it was. No such luck for Mr. Warren Morris there. Our second return is from Nashville, Tennessee. And we have Mr. Ken Gerhart again. I've gotten him quite a few times. He signed 404 in 39 days. He had a career batting average of 221 with 24 home runs, 64 RBIs. He played from 86 to 88. He appeared in 215 games. And he too had a very promising career um, to start off. And then injuries, injuries took their toll on him. That's Mr. Ken Gerhardt. Our third return is from Raleigh, North Carolina. And we have got some Brandon Stebbins or a Brandon Stebbins stamp on this. And we have Mr. Mike Caldwell. He signed three of three in 11 days. He had a career record of 137 and 130 with a 3.81 ERA. He pitched 14 years, appeared in 475 games. He pitched from 71 to 84. He pitched for San Diego. San Francisco, Cincinnati, and Milwaukee. His best year was in 78 when he went 22 and 9 with 23 complete games and a 236 ERA. And he is also in the Brewers Wall of Honor. It's Mike Caldwell. Oh. <laughs> 
<clears throat> excuse me. And our fourth return is from Portland, Oregon. And we have Morgan Weaver. She signed one of two in 13 days. She plays for the Portland Thorns. And she was the 2020 second overall pick. And that is my one and only soccer autograph that I've gotten through the mail thus far. And it looks like it was bent in half. Look at that. But can't complain. And that is Miss Morgan Weaver. Hopefully I'll have some more soccer ones coming here soon because I sent quite a few of them. And I had only sent, I believe, maybe four or five to the one, to players that are on the Olympics. So I'm expecting the other ones to be coming in the mail soon. Our next return is from Kansas City. And we have Chuck Dobson. He signed three of three in 41 days. He had a career record of 74 and 69 with a 3.78 ERA. He pitched nine years, appeared in 202 games. He pitched from 66 to 75. He pitched for the Kansas City Athletics, the Oakland A's, and the California Angels. And from 67 to 71, here, here are his win totals, 10, 12, 15, 16, and 15. And then after that season, his 71 season, he had elbow surgery, and that pretty much ended his career. Because after that, in the next three years, he only appeared in 15 games. So, so this, this installment of TTMs is all about players with injuries that just tear, kill their careers. And our last return is from Boston, Massachusetts. And we have Mr. Greg Gore. He signed three of three in I don't know how many days because for some reason I did not input him on the sports card forum. So I don't know how many days it took. He had a career record of eight and 11 with a 6.21 ERA. He pitched four years, appeared in 66 games. He pitched from 93 to 96. He pitched for Detroit and California. And his 1996 season, he posted the he posted the highest home run home run rate per nine innings by any pitcher who threw at least 110 innings. And that is the highest in Major League Baseball history to this day. And that number is 2.41. So every nine batters he faced, he was giving up 2.41 home runs. He is also Detroit Tigers number four. He is ranked number four um, on the Tigers' biggest disappointments in the franchise history. That's not a um, that's not a title I'm sure he's proud about. That is Mr. Greg Gore. And that is going to do it for this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please hit that like button. I love reading you guys' comments. I appreciate everybody watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.